Hey, thanks for joining me today. Got a great question from Joshua in Malaysia. And he says, hi, Don, God bless you. When we worship sometimes, do you feel prompted to just do two songs instead of five to seven songs as a worship leader during the morning or evening service? Because that happens quite a bit for us as a worship team. Many thanks, uh, Joshua. Hey, Joshua, that's a good question. And yes, I do feel that way sometimes. Sometimes, you know, it's great to have a song list and we need to be prepared, we need to be rehearsed, but let's not lose sight of the fact that um, our job as worship leaders is to help create an atmosphere of worship. Psalm 22 verse 3 says, God is enthroned on the praises of his people. So when we come together and we praise and worship, God has promised to be in our midst. So our job as worship leaders is to help create that atmosphere and facilitate a conversation between a living God and his people, between God and man. And that's what's going to change a life, not, not getting through your seventh or eighth song. Um, so yeah, just uh, lay for those moments. If something happens on song number two, uh, by all means, uh, camp out there. You know, between songs, I'm always listening to the Holy Spirit. I'm, uh, I say to people, sometimes the most important thing in your song list is what happens between the songs. You're trying to listen. Is the Holy Spirit saying this? Is the Holy Spirit doing this? Uh, leading worship is like following a river. You know, a river goes sometimes goes a little faster. It'll go to the right. It'll go to the left. And our job is to just float with the river. Don't get ahead and don't get behind. And our, uh, like I say, our song lists, it's important to have them to be rehearsed and be prepared. But when the Holy Spirit moves on song number two, hey, I, I would say the most important thing you can do is camp out on song number two because uh, the people won't remember song three, four, five, six, seven, and eight if they missed that moment on song number two. So when that moment happens, go with it and follow the Holy Spirit. And uh, I think that's the way uh, worship becomes much more meaningful. Uh, and those are the moments that will change a person's life. It's not about production or pageantry. It's about God's presence. And when that happens, uh, it's the most important thing you could do in your service. So good job. Uh, yeah, don't, don't be uh, a slave to the song list. And uh, by the way, that's a little tough when you have these big produced, sometime big churches, a lot of production, a lot of timing out and everything. But all those things are good, but the most important thing you can do as a worship leader is, is grab that moment when God is really speaking to his people, because that is what's going to change a life. So God bless you, Joshua. Great question. And if you've got a question you'd like to ask me, go to donmoen.com forward slash ask Don, and I will give it my best shot. God bless. Make it a great day. Even when a melody won't